Melwak TV Young S. Govani Convoy. Okay, Kude, if y'all haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. We've been talking a lot about, you know, the things that, you know, the media and the interest in kids. Disturbing footage surfaced of a drag queen performing in front of infants. Yes, infants. The vision is so shocking that we have to heavily blur it. But these are grown adults in bondage gear or in G-strings strutting around in front of tiny kids, infants, toddlers. I'm uncomfortable watching this clip, bruh. Listen, bruh, this shouldn't be allowed in high schools. This should not even be allowed at college or universities. This is just plain wrong, like bondage gear, bruh, that's for it. Certain type of adults. Yes. I don't even not even that. all adults. Yeah, that's <laughs> the, I was looking for the word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because... I want to go see that. No, I don't want to see that either, bruh. You know, some people have that, like, in, like, that, that, that fetish or whatever, that interest. You know what I mean? But this is not the right kind of show to put on for toddlers. This is just uh, the latest in a growing list of drag events being targeted towards children. Joining me now is Sky News contributor Dominique Samuels. It was your tweet that went viral. Tell me about these performances for toddlers and babies. I can't handle that sentence, bro. Toddlers, <laughs> guys. What happened to puppet shows? What are we doing, bro? <laughs> we're gonna let five-year-olds watch porn now, bro. Is that where we're going? I mean, bro? that's basically what that was. Yeah. Why? Right, well, it is quite the saga because when I came across these screen recordings and um, screenshots I was sent by my followers, I was absolutely horrified that this company is a baby cabaret company. It's called Cabba Baba Ray. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> if, if the flag was just about showing solidarity with these people, fine. But my thing is, bruh, you give them an inch, they take a mile. I, this is a left turn now. This ain't even for whatever cause it is that they were fighting for now. This is just the whole different ball game, bruh. What is this even all about now? Like, you feel me? Is this still for in fights or in, 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 in rights of, like, gay people, lesbians, you know, transgenders and stuff like that? Like, yeah. And who are these teachers allowing this? What, who are, the, who are the parents? Yes, who are the parents? Who are <laughs> the parents, bruh? I can't, I can't imagine myself going home. Mommy, daddy, we saw these people in, in leather, in, 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 in assless chaps leather, like dancing on stripper poles and fucking... The one that I fell. Did you see the one that I fell? Yes. Sexualized, heavily sexualized events involving drag queens and people wearing barely any clothing, dancing suggestively, but it's targeted at young children. Now they're not even being subtle about it. Oh no, now it's blatant. These are the people definitely, I would say, lock them up. Right? Mm -hmm. Lock them up for real, throw away the key. This is, this is fucked up. The mother behind the drag act for babies, businesswoman, set up show with performers gyrating in thigh-high boots, in thongs, in front of toddlers. Because parents were sick of fucking wheels on the bus. No, bring back wheel, bring back Barney, in fact. <laughs> what? Bring back the clowns, bro. So, so this is the alternative. So the parents were asking for this. Who was I? Yeah. Those parents should go to jail. And there are real concerns here in terms of child safeguarding. I've spoken to numerous experts that do believe that there are serious issues here. I don't think you need experts <laughs> to see that there's something wrong with this. That these sorts of um, acts and behaviours are really akin to grooming, actually. We don't allow, you know, dads to take the babies along to, I don't know, the local strip club because, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sick of the other baby activities so the baby can come along and see what I want to see because we recognise there are things that are suitable perhaps for adults if they choose to partake in them, yeah. but uh, children should be protected from it. Now, again, like, you wouldn't take a child to a strip club why would you have a man dressed as a woman in a G-string dancing for them? It just seems just perverse. It really does. Even if it was woman, it'd be wrong. But the fact that it's a creepy man doing it, you know what I'm saying? Dress yeah. makes it even worse. 
Man, this makes me sick to my stomach, bro. I need to show you this though. If you guys were not convinced by by that previous uh, 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 video that this shit is getting out of hand, this this, this definitely putting the nail in the coffin. And a very disturbing story about sex education in schools. This one's very annoying, Cressida, to say the least. Masturbation lessons and 100 genders. What our children are being taught at school. This is how we do it, kids. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if this is what that flag leads to, I don't want it. And that's what I'm seeing, bro. Like, people always know, but why are you like this? Dude, I see the finish line. I see the end game. And the end game is a bunch of creepy niggas that want to come to my... So to my sons, my son and my daughter, I don't even think that that's healthy for grown people for most of them. No, that's not appealing, honestly. Like, to look at, no. Get it out while it's early. <laughs> you want to express yourself in a masculine fashion or feminine fashion, fine. But we're not going to do all these weird labels, no hundred genders, and no, no masturbation lessons. Let us know what y'all think in the <laughs> comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check out our TikTok page at Melahype TV.